yo, imagine being called to a job around two in the morning in the Bronx, in a very slow area. And usually when you get called to these jobs in a slow area at two in the morning, it happens to be someone who's really having a medical emergency. Imagine when you get there, your overweight partner, who's a lazy person, and everybody knows it, tells you, you don't need the monitor. Read the text. It's a BS call. Don't worry about it. At this point in time, I was a medic for like a year. And my partner had about six years of experience on top of mine. So I thought to myself, he must know what he's talking about. I was new to 911 at the time. But my scope of practice is, the meat and potato is of advanced life support, cardiac and respiratory emergencies. So I took the monitor anyway. When we took the monitor, I had the oxygen, the drug bag, and the monitor. My partner didn't even want to take the stair chair. Lazy fuck. Anyway, when we got there, we found a person laying on the floor unconscious with a heart rate about 190 who needed to be cardioverted in his living room floor on the second floor in front of his family, of which one of the family members was a MOS, member of service, who was an EMT and knew exactly what it is that we were supposed to do and what we were supposed to bring on scene. And as a friendly reminder, you're supposed to bring for ALS, your monitor, your drug bag, your oxygen, and the transport device, right? My partner didn't want to bring the monitor or the transport device. I bring the monitor. There was firefighters on scene because over the text, I guess the firefighters from the area knew the address. They showed up to help us out. There was no stair chair. And instead of making a big deal about the stair chair, I just whispered, I, I asked one of the firefighters, hey, come here. Bro, can you do me a favor and go to the ambulance? Here's the key. Can you bring up the stair chair? Can you bring up the lawn board? And we proceeded to get this patient out of there, gave a notification, and then continue to do patient care in route. Now, why do I share this scenario with you? Because the thing is, you're gonna end up working with veterans who are lazy. You're gonna end up working with scales. You're gonna end up working with partners who don't wanna do the right thing. And just because they don't wanna do the right thing doesn't mean you shouldn't. So if you're an EMT working with a paramedic and the paramedic says, no, he doesn't need a 12 lead, then who the hell are you to tell him, yes, he does? Just stay within your scope of practice. It's a chest pain protocol, let's say, and you're an EMT, treat it as you would based on what you feel is right and based on what you see is needed in the protocol. Now, of course, if your partner justifies to you this is the reason why we're not doing this and it makes perfect sense, then by all means, take the lead from your partner, especially if they have more experience than you. But if you could just tell that your partner's being a scale, that your partner's being lazy, then don't listen to them and do what's within your scope of practice. For example, if you're working with me, right? You're an EMT, you're a paramedic. I obviously have a YouTube channel. I'm a doctor. I know what the hell I'm doing in pre-hospital care. It's pretty simple, right? And I tell you, hey, let's not do that. Just because I tell you that does not mean that you shouldn't. If it's within your scope of practice, if you feel so strong about it, then who am I to stop you? Who am I to tell you you can't? No one, including myself, including the fire chiefs or whoever, cannot argue with you about doing the right thing. If you feel someone needs a stair chair, Although they don't, no one can really argue with you about using a stair chair because you're doing your job the way you're supposed to. So I say that to say this. If you feel very strong about something, as long as it's within your scope of practice, as long as it falls within the protocol and you can justify it on your paperwork, no one can tell you shit. You want to use a stair chair? Go right ahead. You want to do a 12 lead? 
go right ahead. As long as it's not invasive, as long as it does no harm to the patient, as long as you're not staying on scene for five extra hours because you felt like doing it, as long as it's justified, then go by, go do it by all means. Because sometimes you just gotta do it yourself, no matter who you're working with, whether it's a new person or a veteran. That veteran, if we would have showed up to the scene of a family member who worked for the fire department and their family members unconscious on the floor needed to be cardioverted without a monitor, he would have noticed. And I probably would have not been a paramedic today because of the simple fact that I would have listened to my partner. So although he had more experience, it didn't make sense to me for me to listen to him. And I did it. So don't let no one influence you on doing the wrong thing. And if they try to talk you out of doing the right thing, then stay the hell away from them. I hope this helps. Peace.